you can tell from me playing with it, it's pretty stiff. Uh, that's about as far as I can bend it. If I bend it any further than that, it'll break. But it's it's a <clears throat> it's a really tough material. Um, doesn't flex very much in any direction. It's made to be hard and a tough material. So that's that guy. We move on to the flexible material I've been working on. Uh, these are obviously all prototypes, so they still have some room for improvement. But for this guy, you can see it's uh, much more flexible. Um, you know, it readily flaps around, whereas this guy, it doesn't do anything. This guy, very flexible. If you want to put them right next to each other, um, maybe that's a good indication of the difference in flexibility. So this one you can uh, bend around a pretty good bit, you know, uh, twist it, everything else. Uh, it's not really uh, elastic, so you can't stretch it or anything like that, but it's just meant to be a hard rubber kind of material that's flexible. Alright, this is the last material. Uh, this is the really, really rubbery one. And this stuff, if you can tell from just holding it, is even more flexible than this guy. So if you hold them right next to each other, you can see one is way more flexible than the other. This one's uh, really like really soft rubber. Um, very, very flexible. You, know, you can uh, twist it or whatever. Um, it's kind of elastic, so if you stretch it a little bit, you know, you can do that, and it's it's just really rubbery.